Hey ho, guys! And welcome back! Today, we're going to be playing a game called Bucket Detective. I'll be honest, it was on my Steam recommendation things for some reason, so I thought, let's go have a look at it. And... It just sounds a bit off the wall. So it's developed by The Whale Husband. Excellent name, by the way. Right, let's read the general description I've got written down there. It's a dark comedy slash horror game by Jesse Barksdale, creator of The Static Speaks My Name. It helps the cult complete a ritual in exchange for divine inspiration to finish writing your terrible novel. A story focused experience which takes around 45 minutes to complete. We'll get it done before that. Maybe. It sounds, I was reading some of the reviews and basically they were just saying, you'd be banging your head against a wall. So let's just start this and rock on. New game. Of course. What was it? They described as if you've ever seen a movie called The Razorhead, watch it if you haven't. The Wii USD to move. Left click to interact. Right click to show hide current goal. E to zoom, for example. It didn't work! You, a 41 year old man, David Davids, you are writing a book called Bucket Detective. Book is not good. Truthfully, you not care about write book. You not even like read books because reading gives headache from make think too hard. You are married to wife who is abusive. Oh, oh. By abusive, you mean she not do perverted sex whenever demanded. To get perverted sex, you approach girls in the street. And they not give it and instead call you creep and pig. Okay. This is why you is writing Bucket Detective. Famous book make it impossible for girls to resist sex, especially glasses girls at nearby community college. At dinner with friend of yours who have recent success in business, you say, writing book is hard. Is there not an easy way to write great book? Friend of yours smile with mischief and says, yes, yes there is. He hand you card with address and say, go here and do what asked of you. In exchange, you will get what is desired. And if you not like, you leave any time. Do not think more than one second to decide this is plain because it's much simpler to create good words on empty page. So, one cold and rainy morning, you arrive at address and enter front door. Well, that was... weird. No visitors, we should go home. Ta-ta, bye-bye, cheerio. Arrive at 4 Brave Amber Boulevard, September. It's a magic card. Dial 359. Use right to... Sh okay. Outstanding. Oh, wait. No. Oh, right. I'm zooming. Without even realizing. You have a very peculiar taste <laughs> in art. Fair enough. Welcome. Wait. Uh huh. Oh, Hi, my name is Gwen Sleepless. I'm a 23-year-old white male, and I'm the building's maintenance man, cook, and I also clean the toilets. I thought it would be nice if once the Dark Lord is reborn to bring in 10,000 years of terror, if people could visit the place where it all began, kind of like a museum to the origin of their torment. So I've installed these boxes, which I call Gwen boxes, all over the building to explain the significance of different areas. Obviously, since the Dark Lord Mishriel, the seven-tongued slayer of kings, the Roaster of the Innocent, the Defiler of the Damned has yet to rise. These Gwen boxes are kind of a work in progress. Well, I don't know, but if you're using in the, your first words... Oh. Okay, I could sit and do that all day, but I'm not going to. Right, so we established this Gwen Sleeveless wants to bring upon the Dark Lord. Good start. Pick up. Old E. Beth, you don't have to come home. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. But please let your brother and me know that you're safe and getting getting our letters. Please, please, please. Also given, also gotten, with undying love. Mom! Gwen, please respond to this as Beth, of course, before we get unexpected visitors. So. Virus. Okay, someone's making an extra noise. Nope. 
The Dark Lord wants to communicate with me. He's saying, go home. Go home. I will go home. Right, so three, five, nine. One. Okay. Two. Whoa. Okay. Ray. <laughs> well, this game got weird. I prayed to the train of female reproductive system. Outstanding. <laughs> okay, I know they I know they said this game was gonna be weird, but uh Wait a minute, set Eight. Whoa. Okay, fair enough. And nine. I think we just got our first puzzle. What was that? Three. Where was number four? Three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> These seem to be doorways to hell. And you have a very ex exquisite spoon collection. Nine. Uh huh. This is a weird house, but I like it. And your weird obsession with... okay. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Why that finger? Bucket Detective by David Davids. Page 1, paragraph 1, line 1. Main, main character introduced. He awoke with fear and a gun in his hand on the road to... Esther Cavalabalos? I can't pronounce that. St. Bucket's Beach, Lost Hagos, The Diamond Shore. Uh, The Diamond Shore? Because if I'm sacrificing a finger, I want it to sound expensive. <laughs> and why that finger? Why couldn't you put your pinky finger in there? It's okay, you've got nine more. Walk it off. I'm getting Outlast vibes here. <laughs> what, that's it? You just lose a finger and nobody bats an eyelid. I am buying an eyelid. Then of Gwen Sleeveless, April 8th, 1991. My journal pages keep falling out and making me lose them. I guess that's what happens when you buy a used journal that's basically rotting. I'm poor! <laughs> okay. <laughs> am I going to meet Gwen Sleeveless? Okay, what's with this dodgy... Oh, what's that? Please return Gwen. Okay, I'll be on the lookout for a spoon. For some reason. Are we really doing this? Oh. You know, I thought it was gonna like make me continuously walk until I got bored and turned round. Fair enough, what's these are the offices of the two fathers, Dr. Z.W. Francis and Jedediah Holcomb, who were the founders and leaders of our happy little... <laughs> I almost said cult, but it's a religion. There is a difference. The fathers believed that they were in fact one being that had been divided into two bodies for fear that if one being had so much knowledge, power, and sexual charisma, the universe would be torn into shreds. So to keep that great power separated, the fathers worked without ever meeting face to face or speaking aloud to one another. Instead, they communicated by passing letters through the mail slot between their offices. It was in this way that they laid down the laws of Mishriel, the god among gods, the gimp in the graveyard, the pus of Xanadu. I'll give them points for gimp in the graveyard. Okay, so we've established this, a cult. Hello, cult! Dr. Z.W. Francis, known as The Scholar, was a mathematician, physicist, biologist, inventor, painter, and most importantly, a medical doctor specializing in the female reproductive system. He was the first physician to do a deep, deep, deep study of the female body, from a medical perspective, of course, mm -hmm. and had the fools in the medical establishment not misinterpreted his work and taken away his license to practice medicine, the writings and tools he developed would be the cornerstone of modern gynecology. 
He sounds like a creep. What do we have here? Nothing. 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 I can't enter it with anything. Mm-hmm. Whatever that is. I woke him up with a surgery before. <laughs> wow. How about no? Oh. <gasps> okay. I don't know why, but I. I. Hey. Eh? Okay, as long as this is not going to turn out if I have to return the three spoons, which means I might get, like, one of those alternate endings, because I am such an idiot for... Can you put this spoon back? Because... reasons? Requests... <laughs> Harim of 9,999 Virgin Girls. Be really good with computers and also a ton of... Wow, these people are nuts! I want the girls in my class to think I'm cool slash hot. Okay. Oh, hey, there's Gwen Sleeves. Should he really be included? Please make people want to be my friend. Find me begging them. Haha. -ha. Wait, David, David. Wait, was that no? Supposed to be me. Wants the inspiration, motivation necessary to finish this novel. Bucket to take. It's surprisingly bad and me. I make it best. Well, of course it's. I don't even know what it's about yet. Right, so I don't know why I'm in here yet. Let's try the other office. What? Oh, your offices are exactly the... What is that? Oh. Jedediah okay. Holcomb, known as The Mystic, was a hypnotist, psychologist, poet, meditation guru, and expert on world religions. His most significant work was the unification of all major religious texts to place the Dark Lord himself at the center. Yes, everyone from Jesus Christ to the Buddha were in fact pawns of Mishriel, the breather of bile, the decapitator of slaves, the withholder of orgasms. <laughs> I think they're just making this shit up. Okay. Oh, nope, right. Well, the files decree when this document stands and submitted, thus begins the final phase. Okay. I don't think so. So what you're saying is... Hey, hey, hey. Right, okay, so that goes through there. I then stamp it and then send it back because these people really were weird. What have I decreed? What is my new cult thing? I want... things. I want my novel to become... a best hit seller? Nope. You notice how I still sacrificed the finger, yet I, I'm not ble- Receive the truth from the two fathers. No. <laughs> Ping. Another letter. Is it from Gwen Sleeveless? It is. The father's asked me to ask the father there. The father's asked me to interiorly decorate the building. The people have been complaining that they don't understand why there's so many plates, forks, and spoons on the wall. FTI, for their information, I saw a TV show about a palace in Europe and they had photos uh, photos, plates and spoons on the wall. They I don't know why you have. Why? Why? What? What nerf do you need so many spins for? Especially when you. Again? People are also complaining about only having three paintings of decoration, but these are ZW's favorite paintings. He wants copies all over the place. So if you have a problem with them, that's not my problem. <laughs> but they're creepy and weird and made up in Photoshop paint. And I'm also looking to look for another two students. Hello? Someone's playing the piano. <laughs> okay. Dream Hole Cavern Revisited. Free sales follow up to something special. Quite good, but is it great? No, but quite good indeed. Mmm, there are so many puns in this game, it's unbelievably punish.
I'm sensing another puzzle here. With the rebirth of the Dark Lord soon to come, the Fathers needed to be certain which of their followers were true believers, so they constructed a challenge called the Believer's Waltz. The Fathers then sat in the chairs on this stage and telepathically delivered the precise steps required to complete the waltz. Those who completed the waltz were to be blessed with the gifts of the Dark Lord, while those who could not were locked away to die. Yeah, that doesn't scream cult, does it? Oh, okay, I missed that one. Great, okay. On February 18th, the fathers delivered their seed to the holy female vessel and then died of simultaneous heart attacks. Their bodies were cremated and their ashes preserved in urns while their souls were released into the building so that upon the Dark Lord's rebirth, they would be one with Mishriel, the putrid prince, the horn of Babel, the apple among the corn. I have no idea what's going on. Only remains of Jedi again. Okay, am I putting you in the chair? Wait, Jedi, so were you on the right? Let's... <laughs> I don't know. Wait. Okay. This game just gets weird. Er. Ogle does. Uh, is there an urn in this one? There is! Happy days! I'll go put you in the life chair. You know, I was actually in here to get better at my book card. I have no idea if this is a puzzle or not. Okay. Are we going to... I... Good. Good. Yeah. I... Good. Alright. I have... Uh, what? I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. What? Great. <laughs> this game is telling me nothing. I don't even I don't even know if you could do that wrong, to be honest. This was I was just randomly clicking. Your place is shit. Falling apart. I'm missing spoons. This And your plants are freaking the hell out for some reason. Oh, yep, be on the lookout for empty cutlery. The journal of Gwen Steveless. Steveless? We'll just call him Steve. Okay, Steve. I'm impressed by how Cyrus has run these things since the Fathers died. He uses more physical violence than the Fathers. The Fathers just used the... Aura! ...to get what they wanted. But the spread of Misriel's illness has really slowed since he took over. When he's not beating my back with a metal rake as punishment for something I've done, I'm usually thinking, now that's a cool guy. Yes, because people hitting you with a rake is usually fun. Oh, oh, uh... Seriously, there are plenty of spoons in the kitchen. Gwen. Okay, I have to be on the lookout for another spoon, then. No. I'll have a quick glance. See if there's a spoon lying about. Spoon? Why am I going? Spoons. Steve's weird. Spoon? Spoon? Wait. Yeah, you might be a spoon. Okay, no spoons lying about. Okay. Let's go begin the waltz, shall we? Okay. I'll be honest, see if that is real, I'd probably be losing my shit Why, wondering why there's mysteriously white arrows just appeared out of thin air. All 
Right, I have prayed for this to end. <laughs> Give me my spoon, man. Okay, fair enough. I think we're winning. I didn't find my spoon. Is that a spoon? No, it's a paintbrush. I was only here for a spoon, to be honest with you. Look, there's hundreds of spoons here. I honest, I haven't got a clue what this game's garbage. Okay, spoon. The Journal of Steve. So excited because today I finally get to do the Believer's Waltz. Cyrus warned me against doing it because I wasn't at the ceremony, but I'm not worried because I know I'm an, that I am a true born believer and will be able to complete the waltz. I can't wait to make the fathers, may they rest in peace, so proud. Stockholm, no, was it? Was it Stockholm Syndrome? I think so. Today the files let me out to visit the library. Since I'm an orphan, I was curious to research my family history. It turns out my family name, Steve, came about because my ancestor from 400 years ago was the only guy in his village to wear shirts without sleeves. He'd cut off his sleeves to show his arms for some reason. Maybe they were muscular. This was very... There is a certain noise. I don't want to guess what someone's doing. This very uncommon type is eventually burned alive for his practice. Crazy! Outstandingly crazy. The Journal of Steve. Aha! My journal is terribly serious. My journal is terrible. Seriously, like none of my pages are staying inside. Ha ha! Oh no, it's water. Oh, it's water. Uh, is this... this is Steve's room. I wasn't sure if I'd do this, but I thought visitors might want to know more about me. Their humble guide, Gwen Sleeveless. So let's see. My parents died when I was two. I was sexually abused by the man who ran my orphanage. And I used to burn my face with cigarettes to get attention. Pretty standard stuff. I was 14 when I ran away, and 18 when the fathers took me in and gave me this bed, which they graciously placed under a leaky pipe to strengthen my mental strength, which they said I had none of. When I'm not cleaning toilets, I write songs about the fathers, I draw pictures of the fathers, and I pray to the fathers. As you can tell, I'm a pretty lucky guy. No. The guy's clearly a nut. I've lost the plot of the story and I... What? Off once <laughs> Oh god, just give me my spin. I just want my spin, pal. How can I return? Oh, 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 uh, no, sword dispense. Hand. Right, sacrifice my left hand because I'm already missing a finger. That's your right hand! Oh my god, this guy's an idiot. But. Page 63, paragraph 3, line 2. A touching romantic scene. Kiss me, babe. And never forget your heart is like a bucket. A place to put someone you love. Made of muscle, filled with blood. Out of the front of most bound days cards. Um, I'm just gonna go with you put... A place to put someone you love, because... This game is mental. You're mental. Ah! ah! It's okay, you didn't need it. And then there were four digits, that is. Because I obviously didn't need anything else. Spoon me! Ignore me. 
The Journal of Steve. Beth seemed super nice. When I brought her food today, she started crying, told me she was being held against her will. That father's a drug her, and I... what? Okay. And her daughter Cyrus to steal a child after birth. I explained to her that the sins of the world corrupted the mind. She is lucky it is so close to the child's birth, so that Miss Shiel can be reborn to cleanse the filth from the streets and also from her mind. She didn't seem happy with my response. Ha <laughs> ha! Steve! I'm gonna kill you if I ever see you. Why is the music suddenly... It's, it's almost like we're going to battle a boss. The birth room. And the fathers gave their seed to the woman with a pure heart. And seven months later, the genderless child was born. And on that day, the chosen one arrived and delivered the child to Mishriel, the father of the motherless, the leper among the clean, the jester of Gallipoli, so that he, the Dark Lord, would be reborn. The Gospel of John is interpreted by Jedediah Holcomb. I should have just left. See when it said no visitors at the start, I should have just turned around and left. Where's my spoons? I am not concerned about what's going on in this game. I'm working. Do not bring the filth of the world into <laughs> What did you say? I've missed Oh, okay, there we go. Do not bring the filth of the world. Please remove your clothes before entering. This game got weird again, and I'm more concerned about where my other spoons are. Open. <gasps> oh, spoon. I'll be right back. Outstanding. But I already missed a spoon, so that's out the window. Right, I suppose it's time to go join the Naked Orgy Party. Am I naked? Oh wait, oh! Ah. Oh. Ah no, okay. Oh. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're still alive. Okay, this is... Wow, you're... Team... Oh. We don't condone throwing children. You pick them up and... Yeah, don't drop them. Oh, you're happy now. Whee! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, mm. Rhyme to Mystery Hill. Alright, I'm gonna place you gently on the floor for just a second. Nailed it. Kush! I'm just gonna pray just in case something materializes. Nothing. Wait, you said. That's an elevator. Okay, okay, sorry. You know where my... Wait, wait. Uh, I am so tempted to try something. Okay. We don't condone chucking child downstairs, it's just... They gave us the option. Sorry. Okay, that's... Did we come this way? No, we didn't. This is another way. Okay, I'm sorry. The fact is you're, like, indestructible. Which is a good sign. And I didn't, never did find my other spin. Oh. Oh, I know where we are. leaving? I like how the music just stopped. We're now back to silence. Me, this weird child thing. Um. Okay. Uh. 
Ah. Uh, okay, I get the funny feeling you're... Alright, I'm gonna place you gently on this chair. You ready? I am so sorry. I wasn't expecting to... Right. Right, I think this is where it's split. I could have just left there, but the chances are this is probably going to split multiple endings, so we're going to keep it... I've been sacrificing everything else, so let's just do it. Shut up, strange child. Final page, final paragraph, final line. Tragic death to... Oh, that's me. Abel from her... With stone and sin, but I forgive the former of. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go with number one. I'm not gonna click. You weren't in eating legs. Am I still alive? Oh, still alive. Minus a lot of blood. Technically, I just... Oh my god. That wheelchair is sentient. Get in. Thank you, whoever threw that to me. I still have no body. How am I still alive? I, I, I don't know. Alright, let's see if it gives me the option to still leave. Shut up, you. Can I still leave? Leave without reward. Okay, so there's that three endings now. Okay. Okay, let's just put this clear and first foremost. Bear does not condone the sacrificing of children, especially to some sort of weird elevator god. That out the way. There you go. Sacrificed. Also, just a small tidbit, I like the fact that he's moved it to the left right? because he's only got his left hand. Well done. Extra bonus point for that one. I'm leaving. With whatever's left of me. This game's just weird. You roll out door and into street and all go black. Two days later, you awake in hospital with pain surge through body. After long recovery, return home with wooden finger, arm, and legs. But still, you use wheelchair because it feel like a racing <laughs> game. When finally continue writing Bucket Detective, words flow out of you like water out of an upside down cup. Within short time, book is finished and published and on many best book lists and selling like millions. With much success, you finally get in young girls you've been warned. Some even much too young, if you catch my meaning, but morality have never been your favorite subject. Wife, she cared for you whole time of recovery, but now best kick her out to make room for new girls. Meanwhile, major cities go up in flames and dark force take over the world. Many are dying, many are infected with disease and psychosis and put into slavery, but you is not so interested. All you care do is roll in chair and make penis spit with pretty girls. Life is good. Life is good. Oh, ending. Oh, five endings. Use chapter select to load the further streets chapter and unlock a complete story. Uh, yay. Okay, well. First and foremost. What? There's the thing. There's the what? <laughs> Fucking hell was on that, but... Okay, person who made this game, you... You cra crazy, crazy, that's the word I'm looking for, you're crazy, and have some issues with life in general. That was a weird game. I will give you that. 
and I don't really fancy playing it again to get the other four ending. I'm a bit annoyed about the spoon. My main concern with that entire thing was spoon number two. I never detained it. I'm <laughs> I like the fact is all of this just fucking weird as fuck, like. But I was more concerned about spoons. Okay, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words for this one, like... No, I, I still don't even know why it was on my recommended list, to be honest with you. I think it was just fucking my melee, to be honest with you. But hey! Ho! Oh, fun! Right. It was alright, but it's, if, if you want to watch something even more mental now, watch the Razor Head, seriously. Go back. 70s, 80s. Don't enjoy yourself. Right. Thanks guys for watching. And, uh... I'll see you later, guys.